hey guys welcome back to the channel thank you so much for choosing to watch this video if you're new here today my name is Betty welcome to AZ family if uh, you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for always supporting me I appreciate you so so much and for um, the people who watch my videos and they haven't subscribed please subscribe support me by subscribing it's free guys it's it's totally free of charge it doesn't charge you for subscribing just push the subscription button and yeah that's how we grow road to a hundred thousand subscribers I cannot wait oh my goodness I can I think we're gonna slaughter a goat here on the live videos like just slaughtering a goat and just share virtually when we hit the hundred thousand subscribers so uh, I want to talk about a, vi uh, um, a video I did a couple of years ago and guys that video receives uh, has received a good number of views and also I still get questions uh, about you know about that video I still get questions it's about the B1 B2 visa visit a visa uh, to visit the United States of America it's a non-immigrant visa before talking about that visa I would like to remind you if you are in uh, United States you are in Canada you are in Europe in you are in uh, if you are in diaspora in short I would like to remind you about tap tap send uh, tap tap send is an app to send money back to uh, our home country and this you know when I say about tap tap send I want to um, refer to the people who send money to Kenya because my promo code doesn't work for other countries so it's just for like sending money to Kenya so if you are abroad and you want to send money back to your home country Kenya uh, please use my promo code Betty AZ sending money uh, with tap tap send you can download it on App Store Play Store and if, when you use my promo code Betty AZ it will give you $20 free of charge just by using my promo code but remember uh, the cat here's the catch you have to send more than fifty dollars for you to get the uh, the the twenty twenty dollar free so if you send anything about fifty dollars you get twenty uh dollar free of charge okay using my promo code guys this is the time to send uh the the exchange rate is still very very good so if you're sending for any reason why i mean reason to the bank or mpesa just use my promo code Betty Easy. Don't forget that, yeah. Promo code Betty Easy. Tap Tap Send is your number one. I mean, like it's Tap Tap Send is doing really good, and uh, we appreciate your support, guys. I get um, I get a lot of people downloading with my promo code, and I still need more and more. I mean, I haven't ha had enough yet. Not all of you yet. So if you have friends and family please uh, share the good news that they can use my promo code Betty AZ to get extra $20. $20 is good money, okay? Anyway, let me go back to this video and talk about the B1, B2 visa. Guys, don't ever, ever, ever feel like you, you, you cannot come to the United States or ever feel like a certain family or these relatives are the one that goes to the United States. Who says that? Who told you that you are not um, you are not supposed to come here or you cannot come here? Who told you that you are not the one to who can start or who can open the door for your whole entire family to come to the United States? Because you know the reason I'm saying that is is because we grow up fearing by you know what by looking at our cousins, our relatives, our friends, we see them. Oh, they've gone to the United States. Oh, her brother left too. Her sister left too. And you always think, oh my God, my family. Nobody in my family has ever gone anywhere. So it's a thing in my family. We don't travel. Who said that? Guess what? God could use you to be the one to change your family tree. You know, to to be the one uh, who's gonna act like the who's gonna be the door opener, or you know, the we open that window for your whole family to travel. So guys, don't ever be scared of um, applying for visitor visa. Uh, 
applying for green card, applying for student, applying if your spouse is here, your husband, spouse visa, you know, there are different type of visas. So go, uh, you know, I can say go for it. If you're a nurse, uh, you can apply coming here to work as a nurse. You know, there are so many different visas, guys. The only thing I want to put, to tell you is some people, they keep asking me if they can come here and work as a caregiver, a CNA, uh, to work as a nanny, I can tell you for sure. I have no idea if anybody can give you a job from the United States when you are outside the United States to come here and work as a nanny, to come here and work um, as a caregiver or CNA. They do, in most cases, they want people who are already here. So guys, please, um, don't inbox me asking me for for uh to connect you because i honestly don't have any connection coming to the u.s doesn't require a, a, an agent coming to the u.s doesn't require connections coming to the u.s you have to present yourself at the embassy you you talk to the person the visa officer those are the people who approve you to come to the u.s there is no connection there is no agent that will guarantee you a visa the only thing an agent can do is to prepare paperwork for you which you can do it yourself i mean you don't really need an agent to prepare things for you not unless you know like they they can do something that you cannot then that's fine because you know not everybody who has time to do the paperwork and not everyone who who has the knowledge to put all the paperwork together so the agent the work of an agent is just to prepare paperwork for you and guess what i remember somebody saying oh my god this guy he's an agent he charges this amount of money and when you get the visa you go with that person to the to the to uh, where you collect your passport, and they 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 get it themselves. That you have to give them like two hundred thousand just because you have received. You know, just because they helped you to prepare the paperwork. Guess what? That's really unfair. Getting a visitor visa, getting a visa to the U.S. is a big thing, and you are the one who has worked for that visa. You are the one who who, who was you know who you are the one who answered the questions. You are the one who presented yourself not this other person calling themselves an agent coming after you because you have received a visa guys please don't have anybody take advantage of you calling themselves usa agent that's a lie if anybody say i'm bringing you to the u.s to work as a cna or a caregiver they are lying to you they are lying to you so much not unless somebody helps you to like um uh, go through the process of coming here as a teacher, as a nurse, things like that, but not a visitor visa. They wait, they prepare the paperwork for you. And then by the time you get to the embassy, they are waiting. I mean, when you get your visa approved, they are the ones waiting outside the door to receive, to, to grab your visa, hold on to it until you give them the balance. I'm like, what is this kind of, yeah, guys. It's about time for people to wake up and, and, and start doing things themselves. I have, uh, um, I have a friend of mine, uh, she was really afraid of applying, you know, like putting in a, the application for visitor visa. And I told them, I said, you know, what is this thing you have to go to someone else to help you? You can do it. And she couldn't believe she couldn't do it. And let, guess what? She, I, I was really amazed by this person because she went through a YouTube channel she checked the is she searched the videos about how to apply for visitor visa and she found so many videos tutorials i mean like how step by step how to go about it so guys you don't really have to have someone help you apply for visitor visa you can do it yourself yeah you know you can honestly you can do it yourself and um, on this video i'll just put uh, talk about the visitor visa these are not the kind of visas that are complicated it's the to filling the ds-160 is not complicated at, as well so a lot of people nowadays they fear uh the the fact that they the the interview dates are like so far like you know next year or whatever no nowadays things are much better now you get uh, you can get an interview as a quicker than before i remember there's a time it was really bad people have to wait has to wait for a couple of years even going to other countries uh just to 
get the visitor visa but nowadays things are really uh, much better and if you get a further date it's always advisable to go back uh to your calendar and try to adjust it if you if you find an a sooner date that is gonna match your the event you're coming for you grab it really fast it doesn't charge you to amend or to reschedule it doesn't charge you it just it, it you know is is it's a good thing that they have that open option open yeah because you know um i have people that i've heard they've gone there and they've had um i mean they have applied and they've had their visa interviews uh in a couple of months now so nowadays is not that bad so another thing is uh uh this one i always say this is the number one tip of all things trust in god and believe in god and put your prayers you know pray to god and tell god your heart desire tell god to help you through the process and believe god for that visa pray to get that visa pray god that may the heaven heaven and heavens and all the angels surround that embassy by the time i stepped at the embassy doors the angel <laughs> the angels will walk with me the lord will walk with me by the time i go to that in a visa interview person he will not even see me he will just see he will see America in front of her. They will not disapprove. I mean, they will not. They will approve you. They will not. They will not say no for no reason. They will say yes because you have asked from heaven. It's really good to uh, believe that God, um, God can do this for you. Like do your part, and for the most part, put God in God you trust. Yeah, and so I can just. Pushed. I don't know how much, uh, you know, I don't know what I, ca I can say, but me, I know prayer, prayer does wonders. For me, my life, I have seen God just praying and believing. I have, you know, like coming to the U.S. and doing all this process to a point of becoming a U.S. citizen. Guess what? I had uh, someone tell me, you cannot apply for your own uh, U.S. citizenship, you know, like, um, whatever is it the n600 i can't remember the name of the form and she said you have to get someone to do it for you and i said no i can do it myself guess what i did it myself i didn't need nobody to apply for me so guys you can do things by yourself trust in god and also have a lot of confidence that you know what I am going to the US. I know where I'm going. I know what I'm doing. I am confident. Don't be scared of uh, the people you find out there. You know, because people have that fear. Oh my God, this person, what is he going to say? What if they deny me? You have the fear of getting denied. So by the time you get to the embassy, in your mind, you have already jinxed yourself to a point where you are prepared. You're going to be denied. You're looking at them like, oh my God, oh my God, the English. You're scared of English before you even going in front of that person. Don't be scared this is some this is a person who is like me and you don't ever be scared of them and also be prepared for the outcome you know god if i get this visa approved i will rejoice i'll praise your name if i get it denied i will keep loving you and i believe that you're gonna open the door for me next time i mean nobody want to pray that kind of prayer you just want to pray that you believe you know believe but things happen and you can find someone in a bad mood so it's not all about you it's not about what you did wrong you can do everything right and just you find somebody there in their old i mean in their their mood and or their they have a reason for them to deny you and for you you don't know the reason why they're denying you but they just deny you you have everything right and they still deny you those are the kind of things i'm saying you have to put to god in prayer and say god i have done my part i need your favor i need your favor because guess what uh god can open the door but then i want to tell you this if you get your visa denied don't be so broken because the reason i said about being mentally prepared for both you know for getting it and not getting it is because we have to face reality people get denied visas if you get denied don't be depressed because the moment you started um, the moment you um you 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 got the interview date you started preparing you're going to the u.s in your mind you're leaving so you get denied everything gets like 
that's that's it you're done you're done your life is mess is a mess you don't want to live anymore you become so stressed you become so depressed don't get to that state remember there is always next time you can fix your error and next time you never know you can meet a better person i have to say this because guys not all everybody gets their visa approved if you get your visa disapproved if you get a denial please don't don't be broken don't give up it's normal to feel sad it's normal to feel like you're so frustrated you wasted your money guess what it's a lot of money i um uh, right now it's about in kenya i think right now it's about twenty eight thousand shillings and that's a lot of money gone like that you know these people they make so much money from us <laughs> So anyway, guys, number one question is that what is the purpose of your visit coming to the U.S.? They're going to ask you this question, whether you like it or not. They want to know what is the purpose of your visit. So you have to find a specific reason why you're coming to the U.S. You say, I am coming to the U.S. for this and this reason. Please do not stutter. Please know and where you're going you know you have to know the reason why you're coming to the u.s you cannot just go there and start um just to visit don't that is a good reason for you to get denied if they ask you what is your purpose of visit you say graduation um wedding nothing you just say graduation wedding you know this person doesn't know what are you do what are you you know, you have to express yourself and say, um, if they say, what's the purpose of your visit? I'm going to Phoenix, Arizona to attend my, my best friend's wedding. It's happening on this day. And that I'm one of the best maids, you know, like explain yourself, just explain yourself in a short sentence and clear so that that person going forward can know what you, you know, like, where are you going? You have to know where you're going. You have to know the address. You have to have it in mind exactly where you're going. If you're going to a hotel, you know you're going to a hotel. Where, what, what, which hotel you're going to. If you're coming here for business, you already know. You already know these things, guys. You're not trying to make up stuff or trying to create stories that are not necessary and also another thing is you have to go there prepared with your with your whole packet if you have an envelope don't carry don't don't carry too much you know i read a comment uh on my pre on the video i had done about the b1 b2 and i was just laughing about the comment this lady said oh i carried so many so many documents almost carried my grandmother's birth certificate and i'm like you don't need those that necessary document just carry the documents that you know that you're gonna need uh your bank statement your invitation letter uh you know like the things that you really they are important so that and you then you arrange them just know my passport is on top because most of the time they'll ask you for you they'll say let me see your passport don't start looking for your passport you don't know where it is you 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 know your body language speaks volume about you you have to be confident stand straight if they ask you for your documents yes sir my documents are right here my passport is right here do not give documents that you haven't been asked because in a lot of cases b1 b2 visas most of the time they don't ask you for documents yes they don't i'm not saying they're not gonna ask you but go prepared but most of the time they don't even ask you for no document at all they just ask you for your passport so if they ask you for your passport hand it to them the rest of the documents keep them aside wait for them to ask you a question remember if you talk too much it's also a problem you know don't talk too much don't also talk too less because you wanna you're talking to a human being you're not talking to an alien you're not talking to someone who has a gun if you don't you know let me tell you read the read their mind as they read your mind yeah by the time you by the time they ask you a question you have your answer ready on your lips you know what you're gonna answer don't start looking for answers look at them in the eye straight in the eye yes yeah you know like answer the question yes or no questions and also the one you have to explain a little bit what is the reason of your purpose of your visit i am going to my cousin's graduation she's uh she's graduating from grand canyon university on this day and and you know explain in a little short sentence you'd rather practice these things ahead of time so that by the time that you get there the english is englishing and the sentence is making sense short and clear you you know they cannot deny you from exp explaining a little bit of your visit you know 
they just want to know what is the purpose where are you going you know okay so if it's a hotel you guys you already know you have to have the address of the hotel and all know where the location the city of the you know the city where the hotel is phoenix arizona you know city and state um okay why is that visit so important you know it could be a milestone i'm going to my uh my grandmother's 80th birthday party you know uh, birthday i am going to attend um if it's a baptism you know why you're saying that if it's a wedding you are bridesmaids or something like that so in that explanation you can you can just add uh you can try to to add um why that visit is so important to you because guys remember you are there for your visa nothing else nothing 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 else you're there for your visa in jesus name i pray everybody that is going for their interviews may they be approved yeah so do you have friends by the way guys or, or relatives you know you can come uh, they can ask you this question and having relatives in the u.s doesn't doesn't always say that you're gonna be denied there's a chance that you can be denied if you have a husband in this a boyfriend in this country guess what uh, an officer can deny you because chances of if they they feel like that that boyfriend of yours will come and file for you they can deny your visit just because they know that oh if she go there there's a chance that she gonna you know this person will file for her or if you you're coming to visit your mom there's a chance you stay longer or overstay or not even go back because your mom is there so you have and that is not a reason to say you can you you cannot be approved if you have relatives just be honest yes my mom is there yes my dad is there yes my brother sister just close the the immediate family do not just go there and say oh my 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 auntie of my auntie lives i don't know in texas and the other uncle of uncle don't don't worry about relatives you don't even keep in touch uncles and aunties don't worry about them just say immediate family members if it's your husband my husband is there so be honest um they have ways to find out this information so if you have ever been denied visa and they ask you if you have been denied you better say yes because guess what guys they are they will find out in their system that you've been denied tell the truth honesty is very 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 important guys uh, you have to disclose the the family that is there or you have friend you have oh, if it's a boyfriend you disclose you tell the truth okay um another thing is uh where will you be staying you know while while you are in the united states guys if you are asked where you'll be staying you already know you had the time you had the three months to prepare or two months or five months to prepare you already know you are talking with you you are already communicating with the person inviting you if you're going for an event if it's a church conference you already know where the conference is because you have the details so if it is if the if the conference is in text you already know this conference is in mission church texas you know know where it is if it's texas you know it whether it's austin or whatever or dallas you know if it's in arizona you know whether it's in mesa chandler gilbert where phoenix you you specify the city where um uh, where you're going you know where will you be residing i'm going to be staying with my cousin i'm going to i mean i'm going to be staying with my sister i'm going to be staying in a hotel i'm going to stay with my mom uh, and the address you have it here you just mention the city that's enough uh, you can say I'm going to my mom I'll be staying with my mom she lives in Phoenix Arizona and that's that should be enough so you already know you already know where you're going you have to memorize where you're going even the address remember guys do not ch start changing information whatever your ds160 says it has to match whatever you're saying at the M interview and whatever you say at the embassy it has to match what you're saying at the airport and for the rest of your life in the u.s you have to you know like coming here whatever information has to match yeah you cannot just go there in on the ds160 you have said a complete different story by the time you get to the interview is a whole complete different remember they go through this application right 
okay so you memorize it name in the city and guys i i'll remind you i cannot emphasize enough please do not start you know don't not do not go oh um uh uh, let me tell you, those visa officers, they don't like, uh, mm, uh, it's like you're trying to make up stuff. You want to look like you know what, you want to be, be confident to know what you're doing, not what, know what you're saying, know where you're going. You know what you're doing. You know you, you're smart. This person is interviewing somebody who is who knows what they are doing. If you cannot present yourself well at the embassy, you want to tell me you can travel all the way from Africa to here. Uh, or from Asia to here uh, without getting getting lost so you have to be confident and know you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you mm -hmm. so where will you be residing and also uh, they can also ask where are you going at this time why have you chosen to go at this time if it's business you have to tell them I have a deal I have to make this business deal you know uh, if it's a wedding you have to tell them uh, it's happening now uh, this month and I have to go because this month I've taken my vacation you know um, just say uh, you officer i have i have my two weeks vacation and my the, i've taken the two weeks vacation just to attend this you know because it's not going to happen again if it's a graduation it's not going to happen uh, uh after another month you know it's something that maybe that's once in a lifetime or by the time they graduate again it's it will be other couple of years so just say this is happening now and i i need to be there you know um so yeah just remember all those all, all those things guys be honest if they ask you if you're married just be honest guys a lot of people they uh they they think oh if i say i'm not married i'll be denied that's not true i have seen people well it's a reason because some because marriage if the husband is in in back in your country that's a tie you know so you can say you say you're married if you're married and say no you're not married if you're not married as I, again i want to repeat sometimes you can have all the information correct everything right and they still deny you for no good reason or for their own reasons you know so just be honest say if you're married because guess what if you say you're married and you get approved so that's gonna be in the record and maybe you're not married you know so just tell the truth that uh, no i am single or no i'll be getting married in two months or three months or you know something you know yeah truth so the reason why you can be denied most of the time is being inconsistent you know that inconsistency like you don't really uh, the information doesn't match at all I just told you and also the ties you have ties 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 oh my goodness ties are very important let me tell you if you go to, for that interview you gotta show them that you have business back home you are employed you can afford to lose your job you are in school in your country you have children there you have a husband there you have family there you have things you you have investments in that country oh my goodness the list is endless so you better just talk about the ties you have if they ask you are you gonna come back you know like uh, because they can pop up questions that are just a question every interview is different have the ties you know know the ties you have already be prepared in your mind that they want to hear it's all about the ties you know confidence ties uh, knowing where you're going those things are very important also prior denials can lead to not getting the visa not all the time uh, some people can be denied ha have been denied two three times and the fourth time they get approved so don't ever feel like you cannot try again uh, because you were once denied a visa let me tell you if you get denied the visa try to fix that reason why because you can tell even if they don't say it to you you can tell their body language you can tell when you answer this question this is how they reacted and no shoot i know i'm an imaginary reason so guys what i can say is um if you have been denied before that is, that doesn't mean that you would not get it next time so um 
fix the mistake you did last time and try again and i wish you all the best guys i don't want to make this video any longer i wish you all the best if you have a question about uh, b1 b2 visa i'm gonna put the link for my previous video that i did that was so much detailed about the b1 b2 visa and also if you have question you can always put down below on the comment section i have amazing amazing people that uh sometimes if i don't catch a question on time they go ahead and answer uh, for me and I, guys i'm not an immigration expert i'm not an immigration lawyer i just share information based on what i read what i hear what i you know the things i know but i'm not in any way an immigration officer <laughs> or lawyer but the thing is um these things are there on the internet and we read them we know them so that's it's good to share some of the knowledge so if you ask a question down below somebody will come back and answer you even if it's not me i know for sure someone will see the question guys feel free if you see someone asking a question in the comment section and you know the answer you can go ahead and answer them you know if someone is asking about the agency for uh, for school i mean for the teacher the, the agencies they can use to come here as a teacher or to come here as a nurse just go ahead and link it down below for us because i get that help too you know i i i get the the knowledge from other people sharing too as so if you know something that we don't know or if you want to add on to whatever i've said please go ahead and feel free to add on this video i really will appreciate it this is a family channel you are included in this channel don't ever feel like oh my god betty's channel i cannot comment or oh my gosh she said this and this. you can correct me in a nice way on the video and say betty what you said is not current what is <laughs> what is current is this very that doesn't exist anymore please uh this is what's happening just update us based on what you know don't be mean don't be you know just say in a nice way because error is to human i'm human you're human you know something i don't i know something you don't so we can all help each other as one big family very easy family god bless you thank you guys for watching the video i really appreciate it and i will see you on the next video Take care of yourself. Bye.